Greetings everybody. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to blur out faces. Which I'm going to demonstrate on my little Wait, boy buddy what over here. I would a video. <music> Greetings everybody, welcome back to another video. On today's tech tutorial, I'm going to show you how to blur out faces. This is going to be instance in your videos where you're going to have people that don't want to be known in your videos or you don't have the permission to to display their face in your videos so this would be a technique you could use to you know keep the footage in your videos or to have the person that you know in your videos to be anonymous so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do it in the computer and then you can apply it uh, onto your videos so let's get on to the workstation and get right to it. Okay everybody, let's get started. Uh, I already have DaVinci Resolve open and already imported a clip into our project which we're going to be using. So let's drag this clip onto the timeline. You see here this is a clip of a few people running up the road. So. You know what, let's um, highlight this clip, go into Inspector, let's uh, in make it a little bigger um, because we can't really see the runner's face because they're kind of far away, so, so we just got to adjust it by going into Transform and we got to just move the people into place, make it even more bigger. So, and let's wind it, see what it looks like. This is a little bit better. I mean, we could at least tell some of their faces now. Now we're going to just scroll through, maybe pick somebody. Let's pick this person here. Let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, let's pick this person here and blur out his face. So let's uh, go into colors. So in order to blur out face, I usually like to add a node, a new corrector. And I'm going to use this to assign a power window to uh, do the adjustments. So let's put it here. Uh, what we gotta do is we gotta select a power window. I gotta select this circle and we gotta just put it right on this guy's face. So make it small. So, and uh, now you could just add um, blur to it to blur out the face. Uh, make sure to open open FX. Select uh, mosaic blur and just drag it onto that node. Now it's already blurred. It's pretty much <laughs> as easy as that. I mean. If you've seen most uh, blurring effect, there's a uh, very pixel effect you could do. So you can increase the pixel uh, frequency to make it more pixelated or more general blur in that sense. Now we're going to scrub through the clip. So we will go into tracker and we will just hit play and it will track. Now it just 
you know, stop here because the subject is already off of um, the clip. So if we go back to our clip, go back to the beginning and hit play, see the face is all blurred. Now, this is a, um, you want to blur in more than just that person's face. Let's just say you want to also blur out other people or other faces or different objects. What you just do is just add an additional node for the corrector. And then you would just, yeah, put this over here. Then add a uh, mosaic blur to it. Oh, it blurred out everything. Which we don't want. Let's undo that. Let's uh, select our object first. <laughs> we're a little too fast on the gun with that one. Let's uh, say we're gonna bl just blur out this whole uh, person, you know, this whole lady here. You know. Let's go back to the beginning of the clip when she comes onto the frame. Let's start over here. Don't need this to be that large. So now we could add uh, mosaic blur to it, and there she's blurred out. Let's make it a little. Let's increase the pixel. You could blur out a whole person now. I'll go to tracker. Hit play. Now, sometimes the tracker may not do that well, either because the clip is you know the person is pretty big and what you would do is you would just go frame for frame and just you know adjust in that manner now these points you could pretty much you know just in yeah Keep going. Each frame, you know, each fill frame, just move your power window along the line. This is kind of a manual tracking. Uh, sometimes, you know, the automatic tracking uh, may not work so well, so you have to do some manual tracking. So every few clips, you just move the blur window adjust the size too as well I mean depending on how detailed you are you could do a really good job with this by adjusting the power window in each frame Now we just um, rewind, see how the track can go. There's a little bit of the feet is kind of showing. Make it a little larger.
over turn a little bit so it's kind of tedious when uh, the tracking when Da Vinci can do most of the tracking for you and you have to do it manually yourself frame for frame Now if we uh, play it There you go So you could, you know Blur out more than just faces You could blur out whole bodies I could easily have picked the shirt And filter that out or blur that out as well you can also blur out multiple objects in a clip. So as you see here, we blur out his face and we blur out her body. So it's not that hard to do. It's just that you have to be patient and um, because sometimes the tracking may not do uh, most of the work for you. So you have to do it manually, frame for frame. Uh, so you have to move um, the power window to adjust to each frame down the line so um, now you can imagine um, if you had um, a whole clip where you have to blur out a person you might as well just blur out the whole scene or if you want to you could put a real large power window in that area and you could blur that area out even though his head moves a little bit it would you know at least cover it so you could do that for if you have to do um, a blur of a whole person for a whole clip a lot of times we just blur out faces because we just don't want them in the video at that moment so depending on how long your clip you that's how much uh, tracking you're gonna need to get done Sometimes DaVinci will help you along the way. Sometimes, you know, uh, you gotta have to do it manually. But anyway, uh, leave in the comments if you have any questions. And if you like this video, hit the like button. It's, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorial vlogs, fun and challenges. And as, as always, hey, what's what's the deal with this? <laughs> That's What's going on with my face? Who's blurring my face? Anyway, hit the notification bell, get notified of new videos. And as always, everybody, have a nice day. And he will see you on the next video. Take care, everybody. <laughs>